Hi, come on in. I'll show you what I'm making today. I've made some photo greeting cards and I'm putting them inside a vinyl wallet that I've sewn. So I'll show you how to do all of it. First of all, set up your photo greeting cards. Have them printed on cardstock, but I set them up in Publisher. You could use other programs. Um, I made sure that on the horizontal ones, the photographs are facing down toward the bottom of the page. My logos are facing down toward the other side, so they're sort of back to back. It's a little bit easier on vertical orientation because everything is right side up and just centered. So that's how you set up the cards. And then I have them printed and on cardstock and bring them home to uh, cut them in half and fold them. So to fold them, I put them face down. I want to crease on the inside of the card because uh, they fold toward the inside. I just take my ruler and set it up with four and almost a quarter on the edge. I don't, four and a quarter is the center and I set it up to almost four and a quarter because my tool needs a little bit of room to work. So I'm running this tool along where I want the crease. It's a creasing tool that I picked up in the scrapbooking area at Joann's. And it makes a nice crease there so that when I fold it in half, I didn't have to look at the edges. I know that it's perfectly folded in half. Now once my cards are folded in half, then I can go ahead and make the vinyl pouch. Each piece of vinyl is cut 18 and a half inches long by 6 and a half inches wide. And the first thing I do is find the center of it by folding it in half and putting a nice crease there. So I've got a crease in the center. Then I put that center of a crease in the center of one of my one inch squares and I fold the ends up to the, one, the closest one inch mark so that in between the two ends, I've got one inch of blank space in there, which becomes the fold, which becomes the space that you put the cards into. So now I'm making a crease here to mark where I want it folded. Then if you're mass producing these, you're going to want to get some paper clips, this kind of clip, uh, where you will just clip the vinyl in place in four places, and that'll make it a lot faster. Now I'm going to finish it on the sewing machine. Since I make sewn items, I want the people who get these to have some idea of what I make. You could, if you don't sew, you could certainly finish it with um, some duct tape. Uh, if you do sew but you don't have a serger, you could uh, use a zigzag stitch. A straight stitch also works. I am a couple stitches in here that I'm taking the end I'm putting it over there to stitch it in place and cut it off at the same time. Um, so a straight stitch does work, a long straight stitch. Once you put a hole in vinyl, that's permanent. So you don't want to have your stitches too close together because then the vinyl could just rip. So use a long stitch using a straight stitch. It also looks really nice finished with seam binding, but I felt like that was too using too many materials for this little project, so I decided to just finish it on the serger. So I gave a long tail there. I'll be tying a knot in there and cutting it off when I'm all done. So now I'm finding my crease again and starting on the other side and I'm stitching through. You have to press on the vinyl to make sure that the presser foot doesn't push it up out of place. Cutting off that end again. Now I can take this clip out. That is much faster than finding the crease, so if you're going to make a bunch of them, get four of those clips. Okay, I'm pressing hard here so that my presser foot doesn't push the vinyl forward. It's going to really want to, so I have to press hard there. There we go. And we're just about done. So that's a very simple little sort of wallet to put the cards into. And one of the things I like about this is that it has four windows. So if you wanted to do sets of eight, uh, you could do two of each photograph and that way people, when they saw the, the packaging, they would see all the photographs that they're buying uh, and know that they're getting two of each. So um, it's nice.